no reason to prove. When you do research, it's like every day is a different day. Because every day is another step towards understanding something new. So structural biology is a relatively new field. We can look at exquisite detail, proteins, DNA, RNA, biomolecules. So then we can understand the very fundamentals of how life works. And then once you understand this, then you can figure out what has gone wrong, for example, in a disease. All these little details that we need to know, uh, they are not out there. But the technology has um, advanced, and has advanced, you know, like, rapidly, and more specifically, like, cryo-electron microscopy. You apply this technology to areas and systems that, uh, until recently, have been totally beyond reach. We have a confluence of different technologies, NMR spectroscopy, we're bringing here the most powerful magnet in the world. We have one of the premier centers in cryo-electron microscopy and tomography. And then we have also X-ray crystallography, which has been the golden standard for like 30 or 40 years. And then we have single molecule imaging. That's another new area. And then, you know, like other also technologies that, that we need. So th there's no one single technique that will give you all the answers. It's really how you integrate all these techniques. This is why we have decided to invest in all of these new technologies and have, and have the best people working as scientists and researchers in any one of these areas. And then finally, we would like to get the best answers that any one of these simple techniques can give you, but then when you integrate, okay, then you get the full picture. I would say we are probably rather unique in having the latest and the greatest in all of these technologies and, uh, you know, in one department, in one institution. I was born and raised in, in Greece. I spent many years of my life in Europe, Paris, and Netherlands, and London, and then after just a very short period in, 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 in Minneapolis Medical School before coming here, it's, it's a city, Memphis was never in our radar, okay, that, oh yes, you know, I would like to move to Memphis. But I have to say that once you come here, you realize that the city has to offer lots of things that many big cities offer you, but without all the other difficulties, if you will, or challenges that big cities actually do really have. It's very international and just, you know, St. Jude, but also FedEx and the other, I guess, other, other companies that are around. The most important thing is that, you know, you do find people from all kinds of different backgrounds that maybe someone not done, doesn't necessarily expect. People are very open, very social, and it's like a very beautiful city that I think really is, uh, it's, uh, it's, it was a pleasant surprise. You know, when people visit and they see what we have here and the operation, then they were like, they go like, wow, you know, like, I didn't know. Of course, it's a great privilege to be here. Being chair of a department of the Department of Structural Biology, the department has massively expanded. When I took over, there were like about 45 people in the department overall. We are now about 120. I think the projection is for us to be about 200 people within the next two to three years. And, and after that, I think we'll be, we'll probably have the one of the very top, if not the top structural biology program in the, in the world. We have clearly the commitment and the very strong support by the senior leadership, right? And that's what, of course, makes everything possible. You need to mention here all the donations, right? I mean, and then Alzac, apparently, you know, for the outstanding job they've done into providing us with the funds and the resources that we definitely need in order for someone to run such a big operation. We have the tools and technologies that very, very few other scientists in the world they have in their hands, so they're now it's incumbent on us to prove okay, that we can take it one step further and provide new solutions, provide new insight, both within the department, outside the department, across the campus, and of course, you know, like around the globe. Being here now, St. Jude, just even walk into the cafeteria, right, grabbing a coffee or something, and then you see the kids. I mean, there's absolutely no way not to be touched by that and not to be motivated by that. The uniqueness of St. Jude is something that totally and utterly changes the way you see science and motivates you. Bring your soul. What does that really mean, you know? Be yourself, act the best way you can possibly do, being an outgoing, nice person, very much appreciate what life has offered and what actually Memphis is offering you, what St. Jude, you know, like, uh, is, is offering us. And I think that, that's what probably would mean to me. Maybe you don't know what to find, Right, and then you explore the city, and then you see people that are here, and then you go, wow, you know, it's really a great place to live. <laughs>